Hi there, Gemini. Asriel here. Let's play cards. All right. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Dale Carnegie. Name, initials, may or may not be relevant. But what I found more relevant, well, to, I'm looking at your cards right here. I took a minute. Meditated on them, um, conversed with my spirit guides, and hit play. I'm trying to do under 10 minutes, so the less the better, so I can do them daily, because then I get exhausted, and I don't want to do any more. Back to you. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by it. You read that. If you are willing to do more than you are paid to do, eventually you will be paid to do more than you do. Unknown. So there's definitely an unknown here, and I'm getting, like, high priestess energy. And I say that because looking over here, we have patience, and it's letting go of perception. So things aren't always as you see them or as they seem to be. Something about 1011 might be relevant. Uh, patience is a virtue. Alchemy, uh, balancing, act, something needs to be balanced, maybe some... Anywho, somebody's looking for guidance, I think, from somebody with wings. Because we have the Queen of Water out here, which is the death card. But I'm getting, like, somebody wants to talk to a high priestess, or a high priestess needs to tell somebody something. Somebody has an important message. Or... They, they need to use a psychic or psychic powers to deliver this message. I took out some other cards, and this is where I am. So somebody is being hunted here, right? Maybe being followed. Um, wilderness, navigation. There's a lot of, uh, quite a bit of traveling environmental no that's not threatened species right somebody feels threatened but something about being a hunter gatherer something happened in the past here that has set this into motion somebody wants to know something about the past somebody knows something about some coordinates somebody is definitely i mean this says hunting or somebody it's not hunting season for anything right now it's fucking just starting to be spring so a missing person um investigation dna see somebody's really looking hard but what was i looking at here the wilderness extinction explorer thank you national parks too might be something here on, somebody's on somebody's radar i feel like there's a bunch of different spots here that are under watch or I don't know. Here we go. A search, a journalist, a disaster, running away. Find the missing person. So hunting for this missing person here. And people are just, there's a lot of people talking about it. Because I have this gossip card here. And that talks about a bad reputation. Social media could be another way, like not just physically looking, but tracking people's social media accounts. Uh, harassment, fact checking, you gotta love that. Fact checkers, get a life. Rivals, liars, keeping a secret, scandals, bullying, envy, and a plot here, so. Then we get a Celtic knot, the cross, and a waterfall. Uh, unconditional love here, or connected. You, somebody needs to talk to somebody that's connected here. Uh, cross spirituality, about destiny. Somebody needs guidance here. Some necessity, something. Like, something is, like, really, like, somebody, like, feels like they have to do something. And maybe that's because they're being hunted. That would light a fire under your ass. Uh, sorrow, emotional loss, duty, crisis, and fate. So, you know how I read that? 
code right here that said, if you are willing to do more than you are paid to do, eventually you will be paid to do more than you do. Unknown. So, High Priestess, Queen of Water energy, uh, I, Azriel, right? So, angels, we tend to fly in the same tribe and believe in the same things here. Wants to talk about this as emotional loss and this as emotional loss. There is some overflowing abundance. Somebody needs to release something, but you will get overflowing. Somebody's going to overflowing abundance. Giving and receiving. One hand washes another. Uh, the universe is watching. God's watching. Whomever, whatever. The gods, your God. Doesn't matter. They're watching. Breathe. Meditation. I was meditating on your cards, remember? Patience and waiting. Patience and waiting. These cards, this came out and that's just sitting there clarifying it. <sighs> Going slowly. A willingness here. Something about trust. Matters of the heart. Being all tied up. Some world travel here. Death card again. Reincarnated. Re, 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 re. Like, wing things here on Earth. A healer. A deep knowing. Intuition. Empathy. Somebody is like super hypersensitive right now. Possibly a masculine energy here. It needs a magician in the mirror. Healing. Somebody, masculine energy, needs healing. All right. What do we got here? The Five of Cups just slipped in reverse. It's jellyfish. Sadness, sorrow, remorse, grief, regret, crying over spilled milk, whatever you want to call it. I'm just looking at yesterday and feeling so bad and so sad about things that you can do absolutely nothing about. Nothing. We cannot live in the past. We cannot live in the future. We can only live in the present moment right here, right now. That's all we have. So the more time people spend looking back, five of cups, at the past, the more days that they have of living and winning are passing by. What is this? Justice. Universal laws, conformity, family, tradition, by the book, following rules. The, um, is that pretty? Elephant and the whale is the world. We also big travelers, big travelers. They have their spots they go to to do their things for sure. So justice, it could be Libra, keep coming out. We got Scorpio back there. This would be Sagittarius. I don't have any other really distinctive. Let's see real quick, Gemini. Any signs relevant here that we need to know about? Leo. Thank you. Capricorn. Gemini. Yourself, maybe. Scorpio. Oh, shit. Aries and Libra. So. Karmic justice. So, yeah. Here on earth. Reaping what you sow. Five of pentacles. Lack. Losing. Financially. Physically. Somebody could not be feeling so well. Depressed. Disease causes disease, seven of swords. So you reap what you sow. Magpie. This is a donkey. Somebody was trying to lie, cheat, steal, do something sneaky. And I feel like it's just coming back around. Or somebody wants information about somebody that's sneaking around. Two of swords. And they can't see themselves. Got like a feeling, they need it clarified. 
you need it clarified. Put you, he, she, and they wherever they go in your world. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Can I have another one? This is like different streets, different roads, different... Um, King of Cups. Eight of Wands. The Five of Swords. We'll take the five because we have other ones out here already. Three fives. Three of Cups. I think somebody celebrated a little bit too early. Maybe like jump the gun here a little bit. Blue Jays are bullies. We got a Blue Jay out here. They push everyone aside when they want to come eat their food. And they scream on their way in a lot too. They'll let you know they're coming right in. An Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to see, wants to know. Somebody is sneaking, trying to steal something here from this bison. Ace. <sighs> What's behind the Three of Cups? Right, so, being left out. Something's not working out. Something is definitely a fight. And here's the Queen of Cups again. This time in turtle form. Sea turtle form. And the moon. Full moon tomorrow. Uh, Emperor, which we saw that with the Aries. The chariot is Cancer. Power, those are both very, those are powerful cards. The cards, the Emperor is powerful and the chariot is powerful. Four cups, not seeing something, being apathetic, a missed opportunity, stress, worry, and anxiety, having nightmares, headaches, can't sleep, about happiness, about family, about some truth and clarity, about a judge, about this king of swords, possibly a Libra, three of swords, because those are both Libra cards, the three of swords and the king of swords, a Libra. A lot of swords out here. Something is heartbreaking. Something about a new beginning. Or somebody is being foolish. Or She's like the wind. As funny as what I just heard. Tower. Judgment. Ace of Wands. She's like the wind here. Ace of Cups. So I don't know. Somebody's losing something, missing something. Somebody doesn't fit in. Somebody doesn't belong here. Somebody's not getting what they wanted. Somebody could be losing a job. Just because in that movie, right? He lost a job and he had to leave his people. This dude would be the King of Wands. Patrick Swayze would definitely be a King of Wands in that movie. So Ace of Cups ace of wands and the tower these can both be sexual that can be a little sexual right there lust desire raw energy something about a reconciliation here where somebody is just like so in love they can't stop thinking about the idea of loving someone this king of swords could definitely just be you too gemini there's because there's been a fork in the road some decision was made here and just all of a sudden one day here what's going on there's financial constraints versus this is what i'm talking about oh look at there's a turtle too these cards have been like this the past few weeks they just are redundant and repeating themselves in all different decks 31, 13. So that's a mirroring image. Something started out, looked good, was lucrative, and then it turns out to be not so much here. On this journey. Movement and relocation. Travel might be the problem. Might have been the problem. Yep, we're at 14 minutes. So... I think that is all I have for you today. So until next time, ta-ta for now, Gemini.